We have been talking about the skill moves being too strong in FIFA 23. Looking at the esports scene, we see that the top ranked professional players use some of the skill moves on a different level. In the recent E Champions League qualifier, where players battle for the last spots to get themselves into a tournament with a prize pool of $280,000, we have seen how much of a difference these skill moves make. Today, we're looking at two of the world's best players' signature skill moves Anders Wergang and Dolan Mike. In this video, we are going to show you how they use specific skill moves that you might be missing. Understanding and adding these skill moves to your arsenal will be a game changer for you. Without further ado, let's roll. Stepovers have been one of the most efficient skill moves when it comes to dribbling. In high level gameplay, you will see almost every single pro using this skill move anywhere on the pitch. To be able to do a step over, simply push the right analog stick towards your player's frontal side and make a quarter circle either towards left or right. This will let your player execute three step overs after each other if you don't interrupt it. After each step over, you may cancel the move and change the directions with your left analog stick. I will be showing you a couple examples from the Danish wonder kid, Anders, who is known especially for his step overs. He specifically uses one of the step over variations and that seems to be working for him like a charm. The aim of the variation is to go straight forward through a line, but while doing it, you gain a magnificent acceleration and a speed boost in a short distance. First, you need to make sure you are not sprinting, so don't hold on to your sprint button. Execute the step over by pushing the right analog stick forward and make a quarter circle towards either one of the sides. And right after the first animation starts, immediately press the sprinting button. Don't change your direction with the left analog stick. And depending on your player, you will see how fast he gets. This move could be both used in the wing to get past the defenders or in the center to create a goal scoring opportunity. Let's take a closer look to an example. This variation becomes deadly for him whenever he sees an open space ahead and doesn't have a defender directly in front of him. So if both conditions are there, this is the moment where he executes a straight up step over, gets far away from the defender because of the greater acceleration and finds an easier angle to pass which ends up with a goal against one of the best players like Nicholas himself. Pretty cool, right? Besides this one, there are many variations of the move Step Over, which we published in one of our tutorials on the Guide Plus, which is also part of our Ultimate Team of the Season meta course. In this course, we give you the best tools of FIFA 23 that will get you more wins and most importantly, joy while playing it. Click the link in the description, get yourself to our Team of the Season meta course and bring the best FIFA player out of yourself right now. Heal to Ball Roll is another great tool with multiple purposes. It allows you to slightly change the ball's angle while pushing it forward. That will allow you to accelerate towards forward while dodging the incoming defender. To be able to execute a heel to ball roll, simply hold the L1, LB button and push the right analog stick once towards your player's frontal side and then towards the opposite. The animation of the move pulls the ball a bit back towards one side and pushes the ball towards the direction which is currently indicated by your left analog stick. This is where the move gets dangerous, especially against the opponents who tend to gamble in their defense. By multiple purposes, we mean it. While having a diagonal angle away from the goal and facing defensive pressure, using this move will allow you to get a better angle towards the goal, accelerate and get past the defender while shielding the ball. It even gets better inside the box. With a simple heel to ball roll, you can prepare the perfect finishing opportunity. We have a clear example from the last year's German champion, Dulan Mike. As he is about to receive the ball inside the box, he positions himself a bit towards the upper side, giving his opponent the feeling that he might do his offensive move towards there. That is the bait and the opponent takes it. Using this idea, he quickly changes the ball angle slightly with a heel to ball roll, gets the ball towards the other foot and scores the goal. And finally, our last skill move, the McGeady Spin Cancel. This move is very effective in terms of quickly switching directions and requires quick hands. To be able to do it, you also need players with 5 star skill moves. While moving, push the right analog stick first towards your player's frontal side and then either towards his left or right. This is the first part of the move. Right afterwards, you have to cancel the skill move by holding on to the L2 and R2 or LT and RT buttons together and select an exit direction with your left analog stick. Depending on the exit you select, you can perform the skill move in different directions. However, one thing we recognize is that the pro players tend to use this hard skill move whenever they're in a tight spot inside the box and need a 180 degree turn. This is one of the toughest skill combinations in the game and the input has to be executed properly, so practice it a lot in the arena. Here again is an example from Dolan Mike as he is executing the Mekidi Spin Cancel. 
As he passes the ball to his striker in the box, he could deliver the ball easily to the lower side to get a clear shooting angle. However, this is too obvious. The opponent has already selected his defender and he's on his way to defend that passing option while jockeying. This is where a pro mind makes a difference. He sees that defending move, decides he needs a sharp turn because if you try to turn around there with a the normal left analog stick dribbling, the opponent might get the time to jockey back there. That is why he instantly executes the Mekidi spin cancel towards the back and finds the angle and scores the goal. Wow, that was a bit too much sweaty. However, if you want to be a better player and win more games, you have to use these skill moves in a very creative way like the pro players do. That is how you can make a difference compared to the other players. If you want to improve more and get better results in the team of the season weekend league, watch one of our latest videos that appears on your screen right now that gives you four very crucial tips on different sides of gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next one, take care and peace.